Hey folks, Gunbuff here. So I have had the pleasure of playing with the Sport Lock 3 gun case by Birchwood Casey for the past month, month and a half now. And I gotta tell you, this is a very solid, well-built case. So I thought I'd go over the features with you, so stay tuned. First things first, as you'll notice, there are four double AR mag pouches, and it will comfortably hold two mags, whether they're polymer or GI. Uh, nice and snug. There's enough field on this Velcro right here that if you want, you can leave it open a little bit just like that so that you can have extra room there to put things like 40 rounders in. Or you can cinch it all the way down so it's nice and tight and they won't rattle around. There's one slight negative and that's if you're going to run an AK in 3-gun or a VZ-58 in this case, it's so tight that you can only get one mag in there. So it's kind of a bummer, but I'll show you in a little bit the molly on the other end over here and you, you can add more uh, mag carriers to this bag, which is always nice. I just hang my muffs right here on the dual handle and then sliding down. <coughs> We have a really nice, awesome Velcro on it, but I just put my panel and our ray patch right there. So that's pretty nifty. And then you get two heavy duty buckles. And this is kind of just a generic open utility pouch. And I keep everything in here. So I keep my gloves. I keep my uh, stapler and st spare staples, my range ID, cleaning supplies. Keep my Otis kit. These are awesome, by the way. Stand by, there's gonna be a review on these guys. And then, I just keep a little utility box with spare parts, cleaning kit, backups, stuff like that. So then everything else goes back in here. Nice and easy. And I suppose if I stuffed it a little bit more, I could get more in there, but it's a nice big general purpose kind of pouch. So, moving on, you have the pistol compartment, and here is the Molly. This is standard mil-spec Molly, and you can add an additional four. You might, depending on the mag carrier system you use, might be able to get five across here, but you can get four easily on here. And then, if you open up the pistol here, so the first thing you'll notice is you got five really nice heavy-duty elastic pistol carriers <clears throat> right there, pistol mag carriers, and then you got this zippered compartment which is easily big enough to hold a full-size 1911. It'll hold just about any handgun. Now you can put two pistols in here and you'd put it in this compartment here and then you'd put the, the mags for that second uh, pistol in here, but I find that that's a little tight. So what I do is I just put whatever I'm going to carry that pistol in. So whatever my holster is, I just stuff it in there. It also has this really nice feature. I don't know if you can see that. Let me spin this bag. So it has these really decent little tabs right here that keep it from flopping open. That's why this is staying up and not hitting the table because it allows these wings allow it to to stay and not fall over and your mags spill out. So that's a nice little feature. And also, these zippers are beefy. They're very beefy, which is very nice and, and just shows that it's good quality. So then, if we open up the main compartment, again, heavy duty, heavy duty zippers, which is really, really nice. So then, ugh, so the first thing you'll notice in here is that you got keepers, all right? They're really nice Velcro keepers. And then on either end, you have these muzzle or, or buttstock holders. Kind of depends on where the gun is, but let me spin that so you can see it. It's a pretty long bag. It's actually 49 inches overall, which is certainly uh, big enough to hold most rifles. And certainly, most of the, the long arms that you use in 3-gun, I think you'll find will fit in here just fine. But anyway, so you have these really nice, heavy padded compartments, either for your butt or your muzzle. And then you get two keepers. And then you have a really nice 
padded divider wall right here that runs the whole length. And then you have a mirror image on the other side. Except for one really nice feature, which is this fence right here. So this fence keeps your muzzle from hitting the zipper. Because if this wasn't here, your gun could potentially come over and smack the zipper. So these keepers are super nice. So they just Velcro down, no big deal, pretty simple. I like the fact that it's just Velcro and not, and not uh, buckles because the buckles tend to scrape up uh, or rattle around and rub on your stock or your metal. And I just, I, I'm always worried that I'm gonna damage something. So it's nice that it's just Velcro and nothing, nothing else. So it does come with a shoulder strap. I don't use it very often because typically this just goes from my workshop here to the back of my truck to the shooting bench. But if you're gonna carry a long distance, it's nice, this is padded. It's got a non-slip surface on one side, right there actually. And then it's just, you know, it's just nice and padded. So it's a decent little shoulder strap. You could even, it's big enough that you could, uh, you could wear it across your body if you wanted to. And there's enough room in here that I roll up my targets and put in here. I just use a rubber band and put them down in there. There's actually enough room, as you can see, this is a standard M4. So there's enough room in here that I think you could actually put your uh, chest rig in here if you chose to. Uh, although that might be getting, um, that might be getting into some weight issues because it's pretty heavy with three weapons and all the accessories, but there you go. So. You have a really decent, um, really decent capacity with this case. And one thing I find that a lot of cases don't have is they don't have good stitching. And one thing I did notice about this case is that the stitching looks pretty solid. So I've only been using it for a little over a month, but this is solid. So, you know, the best part about it is, is that um, I think that it has a nice look to it. Now it only comes in black. Uh, I think you have tons of capacity. And the best part really is that you can put everything in one package. You know, you can, you, this is not just a weapon carrier, but it's a range bag as well, which is something that I really like because anything I can, anytime I can condense down um, into one bag, I think that's the way to go. I wanted to give you a look at what this guy looks like on the shoulder strap. Um, you know, this is fully loaded. It's not cutting into me too bad. I think you could carry this a good long while. Um, it's even long enough, you know, you could go crossways around your body if you wanted to. So at about 140 or so retail, uh, this is a great bag, whether you use it for three gun or not. You can carry everything minus your ammo um, to the range. And anytime you can combine your pistol, your rifle, and your range bag into one package, I think you're winning there. So, um, you know, the pros of this guy, well, it's 140 bucks and most comparable bags are far more. Typically they're about $100 more. Um, you can save that money and spend it on ammo. Um, the other pros, of course, is that it's got tons of features, uh, well thought out. Um, and cons, well, there's only one real con I can think of, and that's that it's not made in the States, but that is how they keep it at the 140 price point. So I think that's a, uh, you know, the, really the only negative. Um, everything else seems to function fine. Um, I haven't had any issues at all um, with this bad boy. The one and only problem I would say that you can run into and it's not the fault of the bag it's my own fault is that I can weigh it down you know you can put tons of stuff on here so when you do that it gets really heavy but if you take what you need uh, to the range or to a competition you're going to be just fine this bag is going to hold up just fine for you so if you get a chance check the sport lock three gun case out from Birchwood Casey uh, I think it'd be a really nice addition to your arsenal. Uh, also, as always, if you like this kind of stuff, do me a favor. Subscribe if you haven't. Like, share, comment below. So, as always, be safe and be good.